Welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Emily and this is not a normal video at all. Normally I do studio vlogs, but I received a really exciting delivery on Thursday. You'll see in the title of this video. Um, I got a cricket machine on Thursday and it came really late. It, <laughs> I waited in all day for delivery and it came about 9 p.m. So I didn't know whether to put the unboxing of it in my studio vlog or to do a separate video and I asked on Instagram and um, yeah, we decided to do a separate video. So this is what this video is. It is Monday. I got it on Thursday. So I'm going to insert the footage now from Thursday evening. I'm sorry about the lighting. I didn't want to wait until the next day because I was so excited to open it. So this was Thursday evening after I just received the box. So it comes with a light grip mat, which is good. The starter pack, which I'll go through. Okay, there's lots of things in there. Let me just put the box down for you for a second. sorry about the lighting but oh my gosh isn't it just beautiful oh it even matches my colour tissue paper oh, I'm trying not to freak out I think it needs to live here as well I think that needs to happen I'm trying to stay cool calm and collected but oh my gosh I am beyond excited there is a whole story behind this because you cannot buy them in this country I was able to get one shipped over I I'm not going to chat about it tonight because it's late so I'll catch up with you hopefully tomorrow and I will let you know how I got it, where I got it from, how much it cost me because honestly it was cheaper than going to Hobbycraft and buying one from there. I cannot believe it, it's just the best thing ever so I'll chat to you tomorrow. So it's so pretty. Um, so I opened it on Thursday evening. It's now Monday and I have had the busiest weekend. I haven't been home at all. I haven't had a chance to use it. You might be able to see it there. So today is gonna be the first time turning it on, using it. I'm hopefully gonna make some stickers today if I can figure out how to use it. <laughs> if you saw my studio vlog, you'd have already seen a hint of it. If you follow me on Instagram, you'd have seen a picture. But I've had so many people message me say, how did you get it? Because it's not available in the UK, this colour. I have wanted a Cricut machine for ages. Um, I feel like I'm like the last person <laughs> to get one. Um, and I've been looking on Hobbycraft in the UK. That's like kind of where you would get it if it's not Amazon. They're about £260 here in this country. And... Um, that was fine. I was thinking of waiting till Black Friday. I thought maybe there'd be a deal on. And I did a bit of like research and last year they didn't knock off much money for Black Friday. I thought, oh, well, that's fine. I'll just have to buy one at that sort of price. And um, I was looking at colours and there was very limited colour choices, <laughs> um, which is fine. Like I'd have probably got a mint one. And then I decided to go on the Cricut website, but I didn't realise it was the American website that I was on. And I saw all these colours. America, if anyone from America is watching, you have the most beautiful colours. Um, the UK really needs to catch up on that. I saw peaches, I saw reds. And 
honestly, the price was insane. They were selling them for $199, which is crazy. So I thought maybe I could get it shipped over. Um, so I got in touch with customer services, the lovely customer services over at Cricut, and um, I asked them what the size of the box would be and how heavy it would be. And then I tried to find a courier service to get it to me. I know it sounds a faff. With it being so cheap, I thought maybe it was worth doing. So I got all the dimensions from customer services, but um, after looking, I realised that by the time I would get it shipped and the custom tax, it would probably be around £260, so I might as well just get one from Hobbycraft. That's the, what I decided. So I was all ready to get one from Hobbycraft and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to check out how much they sell on Amazon. So I did a search on Amazon and the Lilac Cricut came up. <laughs> it came up and it was listed under Amazon Global Store. Now I've never heard of Amazon Global Store before and after doing a bit of like digging, it basically means that Amazon buy it over in America and they ship it to you in the UK and they add the tax and the delivery onto the price on Amazon so what you pay on Amazon is what you pay that that's it it's done so on Amazon the grand total came to 225 pounds which is cheaper than Hobbycraft Basically, it says that the item was £156, delivery was £28, and import fees was £40. It did say if it was going to be more than that, they would take slightly more from my bank. If it was less, they would refund me. But I have had nothing. Like, I'm just assuming that they got it right and it was £40. So, I got it for £225, which is cheaper than this country. And I got it in my colour, guys. I'm a purple person. So that's how I managed to do it, if anyone was wondering. I have just been on to get a link for you guys, and it says unavailable. They may have seen on Instagram that I got it quite cheap and thought, actually, let's stop doing that. Because <laughs> it literally it says currently unavailable. Um, I will put the link for it anyway, just in case it comes back in stock. But that's how I did it. I got it from America through Amazon. So there are downsides to it though. The downsides are, it does say on my order that it's eligible for return until the 31st of January, 2020, but I don't have a warranty on it. Um, so if it breaks, I'm in a bit of a pickle. We'll come to that if I get to it. The other downside is it's an American plug. So I've had to buy an adapter, but they're the only two things. Like it's a cricket machine. It's come in the same box as it would if you bought it in the UK. It's so, so, so exciting. So, so you've seen me open it. I've explained how I got it. There is a link, but I don't think it's available anymore, which is so rubbish for you guys. But hopefully it'll come back in stock. Now it's a case of try it out. I'm really nervous. <laughs> it's over there and I have all the tools. I have the get started guide and I have all the plugs. So I think this afternoon I'm just going to get started figure it out so i might show you what i get up to but hopefully by the end of this video i have my first set of stickers hopefully if all goes well so stay tuned
first attempt, not successful. <laughs> but I learned what I was figured out what I was doing, so it was fine. Um, so uh, it didn't cut all the way through, so I know how to fix that. And I put them too close together, so again, I know how to fix that. So we'll try again. trial and error we got there I have my first ever stickers I still have a lot of practice to do yeah so if you've got any advice for me I had a lot of trouble with um trying to get the blade to cut out um the sticker I ended up having to put it through twice and it's set on like a really high setting so it's not I don't know what the issue is there I need to do some research but any tips I would love them and let me know what paper you use for your stickers and all things like that but yeah I'm really proud of these so I'm gonna put these in some orders this week for free yeah she's cute but thank you so so much for watching if you've got any more questions please let me know if you've got advice please leave it below and I will leave links to the um, Cricut that I bought even though it is unavailable hopefully it might be back in stock but thank you so so much for watching and I will see you soon Bye guys.